Hi and welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is Vince. Thanks for stopping by. You're very welcome here indeed. So it appears as though very soon there's an algorithm that we can upload or install into our smartwatches that will alert us to the possibility of dying from sudden cardiac arrest, not to be confused with a heart attack. So enough waffling off me. Let's jump into the presentation and let's see what this latest study out of the Queen Mary University Hospital in London has got to offer with regard to sudden cardiac death and a new algorithm. This is a review of a study I read that was penned by the Queen Mary University of London, where they explain that researchers have developed an algorithm that could ultimately enable smartwatches to alert their wearers to potentially deadly changes in their heart rhythm. And there are links in the description below to the studies and the articles I used to put this presentation together. A research team from the Queen Mary University of London and University College London presented their findings to the British Cardiovascular Society conference. They described how wearers of smartwatches could be alerted to potentially deadly changes in their heart rhythm and could help to identify people who are at risk of sudden death. Sudden cardiac death, or SCD, is a sudden, unexpected death caused by the loss of heart function, sudden cardiac arrest. Sudden cardiac death is the largest cause of natural death in the United States, causing about 325,000 adult deaths every year. That's nearly 1,000 deaths per day. Sudden cardiac death is a condition where the heart develops a chaotic rhythm that impairs its ability to pump blood correctly around the body. Sudden cardiac death is responsible for half of all heart disease deaths in the United States. Usually, identifying people at risk of sudden cardiac death requires a hospital visit and specific tests. The new algorithm could, in future, enable everyday wearable technology to detect potentially deadly changes in the wearer's heart rhythm long before the need for a hospital visit. So what is sudden cardiac death? Well, sudden cardiac death is not a heart attack. They are very different. One is an electrical issue and the other is a blockage. Here is a very short video from Zoll Medical to explain the difference. What is sudden cardiac death? This is what a healthy heart looks like as it pumps blood through the body. This rhythmic pumping action is the heartbeat, and this is controlled by the heart's electrical system. In some patients, there is a problem with the heart's electrical system, and the heart suddenly starts beating so fast that it quivers or shakes instead of pumping blood to the body and brain. When this happens, the patient can collapse and die suddenly. This is called sudden cardiac death also known as SCD. It occurs without warning. Some people confuse sudden cardiac death with a heart attack, but they are not the same. A heart attack is caused by a blockage that stops blood flow and the oxygen supply to part of the heart. Within a short time, these cells start to die, causing damage to the heart. With a heart attack, a person may feel severe chest pain or other symptoms, but usually remains conscious. Sudden cardiac death, however, occurs without warning and without the person feeling any signs that something is about to happen. With sudden cardiac death, you suddenly fall unconscious and will not be able to call for help. It may even happen while you sleep. The team used data from nearly 24,000 participants from the UK Biobank Imaging Study. This was part funded by the British Heart Foundation to get the reference for a normal T wave on an electrocardiography or ECG. The T wave represents the time it takes the ventricles, the two larger chambers of the heart, to relax once they have pumped blood out of the heart. An abnormal T wave can indicate an increased risk of ventricular arrhythmia, an abnormal heartbeat that begins in the ventricles, the main pumping chambers of the heart. Ventricle arrhythmias are a major cause of sudden death. 
A research team then applied their algorithm to ECG data to over 50,000 other people in the UK Biobank study. They did this to look for an association between changes in the shape of the T-wave on a rest in ECG and the risk of being hospitalized or dying because of arrhythmia, heart attack or heart failure. They found that over time, people with the largest changes in their T-waves were significantly more likely to be hospitalized or die due to ventricle arrhythmias. Dr. Julia Ramirez, lecturer at the Queen Mary University of London and the researcher who led the study said, previously finding warning signs that someone was at risk of arrhythmias or sudden death would have required them to have an ECG while undergoing an exercise test. We've been able to develop this algorithm so it can analyze ECGs from people taken while they're resting. This will make it much easier to roll this out for everyday use in the general population. Professor Metin Avkiran, Associate Medical Director at the British Heart Foundation said, identifying people who are at risk of sudden cardiac death is a major challenge. The algorithm could act as a warning sign that someone is at risk of a life-threatening disturbance in their heart rhythm. While more work is needed to test the algorithm, this research is a major step forward in our ability to identify people who could be at risk of severe arrhythmias and sudden death and take preventative action. Dr. Ramirez closed by saying, our algorithm was also better at predicting risk of arrhythmia than the standard ECG risk markers. We still need to test it in more people, including different cohorts, to ensure it works as it is supposed to. However, once we've done this, we'll be ready to start studying the integration of the algorithm into wearable technology. Well, I hope you found that interesting or informative, hopefully both. I have to admit, I was a bit of a Luddite when Fitbits and similar devices hit the market. I really didn't want to get swept up or jump on board with what I thought was a faddy type craze. Um, that said, having now had the Mi Band 4 and now the Mi Band 6 for well over a year and a half, I don't think I could live without them, especially for monitoring my sleep. It now tells me how much light, how much deep, how much overall, and now how much REM sleep I get. Um, it also tells me what I can do to improve those um, particular parameters. It also tells me about my stress levels and it also tells me about my sleep breathing patterns, which all contribute to getting a good night's sleep. As David Sinclair said in the Ed Milet interview, for every four years that we live, technology advances in such a way that you can add another year to your life. I think that this wearable technology or this app that could alert us to sudden cardiac death definitely falls into that category. Um, nearly a thousand deaths a day from sudden cardiac death is indeed a sobering number. And many of the people that suffer from this don't know it's coming. And as the short clip told us, a lot of these people or a number of these people um, will get this sudden cardiac death while they're in their sleep. So let me know what you think about this app. Let me know what you think about wearable technology. Do you take advantage of the technology that is now available? Uh, and when this is rolled out, even if it's a paid app, I think that I would pay for it because of the potential benefits that I think that it would be able to give us. Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. As always, please take care, stay safe, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.